Good Wednesday! Part two of our tomato chutney and port wine cheddar cheese rare bit. It's a long time coming. Mirage by Robinson. Let's open it. Double boiler! Oh man. You'll see it better when I move the box away. Don't drop it. It's like a design marble. Cat hair. Cat hair. Heat resistant glass. We're going to need to use a trivet. When I saw this, I didn't know that there was another company called Catamount. C-A-T-A-M-O-U-N-T. Catamount Glassworks. They have a design pretty much the same as this. I don't think it's exactly the same. They, they had one version that doesn't have this lip, but the glass kind of bulges out. So. It fits around the rim and the double boiler doesn't sink down. They also do have a version with the lip. And how did Catamount get this design? So I have not used this yet. There's a chance. With heat resistant glass, there's a chance it will explode. So if you're watching the video and you hear this music, then you know something bad's gonna happen. I hope it doesn't explode. I have to use it at least once. You know? Isn't it pretty? Isn't it freaking pretty? Rare bit bread. I could have gone with highfalutin bread. Because I was originally going to do a Schlitz rare bit from 1953, they used white bread. Back then, you know, they cut off the crust and you've got these three little pieces of bread with melted cheese over it. So I bought a pack of sourdough bread. Basic white sourdough bread. That's why we're doing that. Let's stop yapping and let's get cooking. Start low. Just kidding. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Uh, I'm joking, but I'm not. Carnation. One. Oh, what a beautiful color. It's like eggnog. Boiling, we're boiling. We're boiling. Typically, the good thing about double boilers is it's slow going. No pressure unless you're using glass. Let's go back up to that medium.
chutney, man. Wow. Wow. Hey, it didn't explode! Too thick? Whoa. Maybe too thick. I don't know. Oh! Paprika! Damn it. Let's try to take a piece of bacon. I purposefully didn't crisp up the bacon. I didn't want it. Oh. All right. Take a piece of bread. And we'll take a little bit of chutney. This is a new experience. That's interesting. Hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> I like the chutney, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. I get this in there. I hate Mercs. It's awful stuff. But it's a great container. Okay, if I had used flour, if we'd made a roux, this would not be hardening up so much. Does it matter? I don't know. Bottom line, I just wanted to use the double boiler. I will be less afraid to use it next time. It's a lot of cheese. Very cheesy. I think this tastes better on a burger. Thanks for joining me this Wednesday. You know what I'm going to say. What am I going to say? Alright, vloggy. Thanks for watching! <laughs>